I just love tribal art. What on earth? It's a horn. Oh. Oh. What do you think they're worth? I reckon they're going to be worth at least 50 quid for all that, mate. The best thing to do is leave it with me for a, for a day. And then, yep, no problem. Yep. <laughs> the bag's probably worth more than the fucking pictures. I don't really know what to do with that apart from burn it. Alison is probably the, the, top. the top. She's the longest trader that we've had here. You were doing from day one, weren't you? Yeah, I was here from day one. I um, had faith in Newport. Yeah. I have shamed myself a couple of times after what I've said to people that have come in the shop, to be honest. I bet you're fucking aggressive, you are. You're an aggressive lesbian. And I went, yeah, I love Minge and I wouldn't go anywhere near <laughs> yours yet. <laughs> Gavin's my house boy. He's very socially unaware of what's going on around him and common sense. He's 18 now, going on 14. He has a um, bedroom upstairs um, in the flat because we live above here. He basically was on the streets with Gavin and his parents uh, effectively did a runner to Devon or Dorset somewhere. They didn't want anything more to do with him. He's like my little family. Just costs me money. If I give him money, which I have done, you know, I've given him wages, he'll just go and buy a giraffe and three magic beans. He's that, just the type, you know? Do you want to go down and go to this? No, I'll let this bass deal with it. Fuck off then, go on, get it done. I think there's jobs to be done in here when you get back. He's basically a big slave. <laughs> Is that a private ambulance? We need to get a flyer, quick. Hello, girls. This is the BBC, so if you're working and claiming, then fucking stop quick. <laughs> Getting she pretty. She used to be a boy. We're going to go out now because we're bored, so we're going to go out and have a... I think sensible work shoes, them. They look a bit clumpy, don't they? It's, I normally come in and tell her to do something with her fucking hair. I mean, for a hairdresser that's had over 25 years' experience, I mean, she comes out the ass like that. <laughs> I mean, look at the roots. Do you get free haircuts in here? Just for you, eh? Do you Occasionally. Like, do you probably go somewhere proper, don't you? No. People do say to me, mind you, get away with so much, saying so much to so many people, that it's really quite offensive. I'll stay there, lovely, or it'd be a mascot on the bonnet. £35 tops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it. And if you do want to come in and buy it back, it's gonna cost you a damn sight more, Philip. Do you want to wave goodbye to it or say say a few words? Or... <laughs> <laughs> so in Newport, you have all these old ladies um, who literally have all this stuff, and you know, time goes on and the inevitable happens, and then what happens to all this stuff? It ends up going to the tip or charity shops and things like that. As always, the best one for me is when Grandma sadly passed away and um, you get to go and take everything. <laughs>